Welcome to Lecture Online. And to finally put this question to rest in a physics environment, let's see what this is all about. All right. If a tree falls in the forest, there's a tree fall in the forest, and nobody is there to hear it. It doesn't make a sound. And so, again, as I showed in my previous video, we need a brain to interpret sound because when something falls like that, like a tree, it will cause vibrations, and those vibrations will cause the air molecules to vibrate, to compress and rarefy, and those compressions and rarefactions, they will move in all directions. But at this moment, even though we call them sound waves, they're not really sound. They're just compression waves. And that actually would be a better way, a better name for them instead of sound waves, who we actually should call them compression waves. And so they're not sound at all. They're simply compression waves. Unless there was something there to interpret what those things are, sound wouldn't exist. It's only when those waves reach someone, like a person, with a brain, and it goes into the ear, and the ear does its magical thing, and the sound waves then become waves in the liquid in the ear that goes into the coglia, and that it vibrates a little cilia, and those cilia vibrations get sent, channeled to the brain. The brain then can say, wow, I heard a tree fall. At that point, we can say a sound was made. But without a person being there to hear it, I would not call that a sound. I would simply call that a tree. It simply makes compression waves and not sound. So, not everybody agrees with me on that, but think about it and see what you think. All right, see what you say. Uh, comments are welcome on this one. Anyway, that's what I think sound is. Sound is only sound when there's a brain to interpret it as such.